Hey guys, the stock market took a tumble today based on a lot of crazy news, so I'm gonna help clear that news up for you guys so you have a better understanding of what's actually going on. So, someone published an article based on a draft from the World Health Organization that says the drug Rendesivir shows no sign of helping patients with the illness and when patients are taken off of the drug, there, there's major side effects. And then the stock market took a tumble. Gilead Science, who makes Remdesivir, went down 6% and we lost all of our gains. Now, Gilead Science quickly replied uh, to calm down nerves, saying the research is actually inconclusive. It was based on a trial in China and they did not have enough uh, volunteers to test out this drug in order to prove to, to say conclusively it does not help or it does help. Now a lot of people flocked into this stock last week based on two doctors who are doing the remdesivir trial uh, talking to each other saying, hey, we think this patient is improving based on remdesivir. Now there's no proven history or record saying that. It's just two people having a conversation and the media took it up and the stock shot up and the whole market went up. So the drug is not actually a cure, it's more of like a treatment. If you have the illness, it's going to help up speed your recovery of this illness. And now this is a setback saying, no, there's no proof or enough research saying that's actually happening. So right now this is a major setback since this drug was on one of the leading fronts of a treatment for this illness. And now that sets all of us back to find the cure for this illness. Sorry, I keep saying that I can't say the word or this video gets flagged. So when you invest in these type of companies, uh, it's always a gamble because for example, Gilead was trying to make a treatment of Ebola and their drug was showing to be very effective in the first phase and later it showed that the drug was not effective and was not the cure and did not help and the stock market took uh, that company took a tumble. Now it's not a bad company the balance sheet's actually good and they pay a healthy dividend so let's look into the stock to see if this is actually a healthy stock to invest in. Okay looking at the stock it's up almost 20% year to date three years they're up 18% Five years, they're almost down 25%. And this was their highest stock was back in July 2015 at $123. I think that's when the Ebola happened and they showed the most promising prospect of cure for Ebola, but then it didn't. So the stock went down, hasn't recovered. They do have a good balance sheet where they have good cash flow and they don't have that much debt. So it's a good uh, income company and they have a healthy 3.35% dividend. Now the risky thing with these biotech companies is that their business model is based on them finding a treatment, a vaccine, and a cure for any illnesses. For example, the flu, it's seasonal. If you have the vaccine or own the vaccine for that, you are guaranteed revenue every year because of millions of people who need the flu vaccine and it changes. And people are thinking and scientists are believing that this illness is actually seasonal where different countries who are heading to their fall and winter, they're noticing increase of cases. So there, so it's very possible we're gonna have this illness along with the flu, but it's not guaranteed yet. So a lot of people are betting into these different pharmaceutical companies or biotech companies, hoping that company is the one who finds like the vaccine for the flu. Well, remdesivir was never a vaccine, it's more of a treatment and it's always speculative. You know, it could go up, uh, if they do find a cure, it could go up four times in value of the stock. But uh, so far it's based on a lot of speculation and a lot of failed and successful trials. But overall, it has a healthy dividend. They've been increasing their dividend over year over year, a healthy mark uh, since 2015 based on this data on Charles Schwab. They could have been increasing a lot more. So if you're here for a dividend play and that growth play, then uh, yeah, might be a good dividend company uh, and it has potential to blow up big if it, it ever finds a cure or vaccine for any companies. Let me know in the comments guys if you guys are going to invest in this company as a dividend play, as a growth play, or a speculative play, or if you have any other companies you're looking at, or you guys are staying far away from these type of companies. I personally wouldn't invest in this. I very, I'm currently investing in Johnson & Johnson because they are working on a cure or a treatment for this illness, but they have so many other products to uh, keep them afloat and have a good source of income. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank <music> you.